To start a multiplayer game, either log in as a student or click play as a teacher after you've logged in as a teacher. Once logged in, choose the type of multiplayer game you'd like to play. I'm going to demonstrate today how to start an operations game, but the process is the same for fractions and measurement multiplayer games as well. To set up a multiplayer game, close out of individual learning and click the bowl referee next to the MP sign. MP means multiplayer. Before we set up the game, note that the other students logged into the game appear in the lobby when they're not playing a level. So, I'm going to play a game with these students. After clicking on the bowl referee, choose create game. If you want to make sure the game is limited to students in your class, set a password because it will be required when they try to join the game you've created. Once you see this screen, you are ready for other students to join your game. Here's what they will see and do to join you. From the lobby, they should also click the bowl next to the MP sign, but this time click join instead of create a game. After they click join, enter the password that you've given. After that, they'll choose a team and they're ready to start playing. As students enter the game setup, you can move them between the two teams by clicking the green arrow. Individual students cannot change their own team. You're the only person with this power since you created the game. If the teams aren't even, click Balance Teams to add a computer player and keep scores fair. Once everyone is ready to go, click Start Game. Warning: Each team can only have a maximum of 16 players before you click Start. Games last three minutes, and students work at their own pace and skill level by selecting the difficulty of their next question. When time runs out, the team with the highest cumulative score wins.